can't say no to the girl with the lashes. The girl with the lashes. Hi everyone, I'm Violet and today I'm going to show you how to do my favorite copper and brown eye makeup look. This is the finished look. You can see it's quite sparkly. What you need are false lashes, mascara, gel eyeliner, and an eyeshadow palette with cream, gold, bronze, and dark brown. First thing to do is clip back your hair. You can probably tell I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so you'll have to excuse my stuffy nose in the voiceover. <laughs> now I'll start by doing the foundation routine, obviously. Um, this is just my personal routine. You should do whatever you're comfortable with. I'm gonna focus mostly on eye makeup for this tutorial. So the first step is moisturizing. I'm using Inoxa Satin Sheen um, Natural Finish Foundation in Buttermilk and also Illamasqua Rich Liquid Foundation in RF115. I mix the two of them together to get a shade and a consistency that I like. Dot it all over your face and blend in with the sponge. I should probably mention that of course I'm not an expert on any of this and these techniques are just the ones that I personally use. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who do it better than I do. For this particular look I don't use concealer usually, I just pat a little bit of extra of the foundation mixture around my eyes to hide any of the little dark circles. <laughs> I don't want a really full coverage for this because I want it to look a little bit more natural. On to the next part is Inoxa Pressed Powder just to seal everything in and make it a little bit more matte. The mascara I'm using is Bourjois Volume Glamour Extra Curl and I'm just giving a light coat to each eye. I'm not going too crazy with it because we're going to be putting false lashes on anyway so it's not like they're going to show up very much. Of course, cleaning up little mistakes is important, just using a cotton bud dipped in water. The lashes I'm using are from the face shop and the glue is Lash Me Type 1. Apply glue to the bone of the lashes. Most glues you actually have to wait a little while until it becomes tacky. This glue you have to stick it on straight away, otherwise it won't stick. I use this glue because of allergies I've had to glues in the past. It's not the best, but it works for me. Gently place the lash on your lash line and press down, trying to get it as close to your natural lashes as possible. If you press in the middle first and then try to secure the inside and the outside edges, that's the easiest way that I've found to do it. Make sure that the inside corner is pressed in really firmly um, because that is where you'll usually find they lift out after a while. I'm using Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner. So basically you're filling in the lash line just in the corner so it matches up with where the false lashes start. I'm using an angled eyeliner brush for this and it's from EcoTools. And now after we finish that, you just want to draw in a little bit of a fuller line above the false lashes and then add a flick to the ends. I prefer to put my lashes on first and then um, do eyeliner over the top of that. A lot of people do it the other way around. I do it this way because the glue that I'm using doesn't actually stick over the top of eyeliner um, and it also helps me to get a cleaner line because I'm quite bad at drawing freehand. <laughs> You don't need to have perfect eyeliner for this look, um, so if it looks a bit messy it doesn't really matter because we're going to be going over it with so many other colours that it's going to be mostly hidden and blended in. So don't stress if it's a little bit messy or not a completely straight line. <laughs> As you can see mine's not perfect. So you can see I'm drawing from the outer corner of the wing 
down to the lash line and just a little tiny way in. And again, it doesn't matter if this is messy because we're going to be covering it up. The palette I'm using is Maybelline New York Eye Studio and it's number 5 Give Me Gold. So now we'll start the eyeshadow and the shading using the lightest colour in the Maybelline palette. We want a colour from the crease of your eye socket upwards to the eyebrow and you're basically following the crease line of your eye here. Putting a lighter colour off the top here near your eyebrows will make your eyes appear bigger as well, if that's something that you're after. You can see everything in this palette is really nice and sparkly, which is the way I like it. <laughs> also add a little bit of cream to the inner corner at the bottom of your eye. This will make them look a little bit wider apart. This gold is really the base colour of our look. So load your brush with the gold, which is the second lightest colour. And starting in the inner corner, work outwards and you want to colour around two thirds the way along your lid. And put a tiny little bit along the inner corner of your lid. Um, you don't want to go as far down as you did with the cream. This is more to highlight. So loading up your applicator with the copper, apply it in a C shape going along the crease of your eye from the outside. And then continuing down the bottom along the line of eyeliner. And you want to do it about halfway. So where your pupil is when you're looking straight forward. Don't worry if it's not blended perfectly because we're going to go back over it once we add some more colour later. I'm just using the little applicator that came with this, but you can of course use brushes or whatever you're more comfortable with. Now add a tiny little bit of copper along the outside of the wing of the shadow on your bottom lower lash line. We're just going to be covering up the eyeliner there. So you can see it blends quite well over the top. Now we're going to use the dark brown. This dark brown has a lot of shimmer in it, so it looks really nice and blends easy with, easily with the other colours. Um, starting at the wing, go over the eyeliner in a thick line of the brown. You want to be a little bit careful when you start applying dark colours like this, because they can be quite hard to remove if you make a mistake. But you can see now that it sort of blends the matte eyeliner with the other colours quite nicely. And it doesn't have such a stark contrast. And I'm adding a little bit to the bottom as well, just the very inner corner. And again to the inner corner down there just following where I had the eyeliner, but not as far as the copper, because we want a sort of gradient effect. And then over the top of the eyeliner, following the line inwards, so it blends with the shadows you've already laid down. Now is the point where we blend all of our mistakes together. <laughs> Use the cream colour just to blend around the edges of the copper and everything. Um, so they come together more smoothly and look like a cohesive gradient rather than just different colours that you've laid down. Brush away any extra flakes, apply a nice coat of lipstick, this one's a CoverGirl lipstick. some lip gloss and we're finished! That's all! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it so hopefully there will be more in the future. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!